up, but I don't want to stop just yet. I want to get that last damn. I'm not worried about helping Marcos. Um, it's either Marcos survives no matter what. Um, so I think no matter how long I take, uh, Marcos will be fine. But um, I'm a little bit worried about uh, actually. I own Vineyard. Good name. I'm a little bit worried about uh, not being able to find that, that last Spartan soldier and getting that mission done. So I'd like to I'd like to try and get that Spartan soldier finished before I before I quit and then I'll feel like I accomplished something. Artemisia for Artemisia Fort? Yeah. Swongos Cave. This could be a hideout for, for um, uh, Spartan soldiers. not looking like it, but you never know. Okay. So there's supposed to be a treasure here. Right. Well, it's on the treasure. I guess there's no soldiers in here. Just okay, I guess. That that must be Marcos there, that diamond. I'm gonna go ahead and uh do that mission now, save Marcos, and uh, clear out Artemisia Fort. Maybe I should rob his vineyard first. I'll rob the vineyard before I before I free uh, Marcos. That'll that'll simplify things. That way I I, uh, I won't have to uh, I won't have to worry about Marcos being upset about me robbing him. Sorry, I needed Marcos' stuff. Did you just put a bounty on me? That's not cool. Actually, I guess it is cool. I, I like having bounties on me. But still. I feel like it was an aggressive thing that she did. I still feel hurt, even though, even though I like, I like having bounty hunters come after me. It still, it still hurts my feelings. You know. All right, so I gotta kill a captain, burn war supplies, loot treasures. Probably won't hurt to shut down that torch, because it's a lot of stuff to do.
Come in, Marcos. Hello. Marcos? Alexios? Get it! How? Um, what? We're having a conversation right in front of the guard. Doesn't make any sense. Um, okay, I guess I can just whistle to the guard from here. Oh, no, uh, not necessary. Sorry, bro. It didn't in time to light you on fire. Whoop, um. Don't blame me. I didn't put the bounty on your head. You don't blame me either because it's nothing personal. So the person changed their mind about letting the signal. Maybe they realized they sabotaged it. I just want to see him... Ow! <laughs> that was fun. Okay. Now that's a kick. Good. I'm glad I found the mercenary stuff. Check everywhere. He's here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 
You did? No. That's not fair. Yes. Yes. Did it. Okay, so let me kill the captain. Uh, might as well do that before I free Marcos. I can take Marcus with me while I kill the captain. That'd be kind of fun. You're as nimble as ever. Now, carry me to my house on the other side of the mountain. I have to carry you the whole way? <laughs> I, I'm so weak. I'm so frail. It's kind of uh, weird fine. that... that I think it's fun that he asks him to carry him to the other side of a mountain. <laughs> it's, a, it, it's, um, it's really fun. But it's weird that there is actually no mountain, and it would just be, um, there's like no mountain for you to cross. And so it's, it's like, um, it's weird that he would exaggerate and suggest that there was a mountain there. Like, it's funny, but it's, it's actually not something he would do. He would sound more, more taxing than it really is. So I think that, that this is a case where the voice actor uh, was saying lines based on gameplay that no longer exists, which is a shame. I mean, it's, it, it, this game has like so many little problems like that. Um, well, can I kick him? <laughs> All right, let's go get him, Marcus. We can do this, Marcus. Jump! Are you okay, Marcus? He's alright. Where's the guy? Oh, did he die? I think he died, right? <laughs> he, he drowned. <laughs> That's weird. Why, why, why did... Uh, I think I think I think it's a problem with the swimming. So they can they can they can swim for a little while and then they just drown. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh man, I wouldn't I I don't know if I would have jumped down like that if I knew that if I knew that he was just gonna drown. I was planning on killing him. That was awesome though. All right, all right, give me credit for killing the captain now. Okay, good. I gotta get back up there. 
So here's a mountain. But actually, there's no, there's no going to the other side of a mountain. It's not really not much of a mountain. I guess it's enough of a mountain. It's a small mountain, but it's uh, you don't really have to go to the other side of a mountain with Marshos to get to the vineyard. So it's like the dialogue doesn't really make sense with his character, but um, all that said. Um, Okay, what are we looking for here? War supplies to burn and treasure to loot. Okay, there's my war supply. And there's my treasure. Nice. See the treasure looks like a war supply to me, like like I that's that's because it's a national treasure. So I sometimes get mixed up and think that that's a um that's a war supply to burn. Because the symbol looks similar. Okay, I gotta, I gotta set Marcos down. What? Oh shit! I, I thought I got it, but then I, I was, um, it landed on the. Okay, there we go. Come on, Marcos. You're doing a good job. I love Marcos. He's terrible, but um, he's he's the he's the father figure in my opinion of the game. I hope they do more with him than than just this. Um, but I'm happy that we at least get this 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 thing. And if it's the goodbye to Marcos, uh, then I guess it's all right. I can live with that. I mean, he is, I guess I get it. I get that he's terrible. I just feel like, um, like he, he, he's a more interesting, it's more of an interesting idea, this adoptive father character that's, that's awful and, and raised, raised the, the main character to be, to be the monster that they are, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's interesting. It's like an interesting dynamic that, that, that they could have done more with. Although maybe they did do more, who knows, this, this game goes on forever. So, I just have to see, just have to see what winds up happening. I've never seen this vineyard before in my life. I certainly didn't steal anything from it. Okay, ah, there we much go. No one makes a hasty exit like you. You're welcome. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> he gave me a helmet. Nice. Even though it's a complete piece of crap, it's still good. It's still nice to get something. Hmm. I don't know how he had. It. Oh, it's probably just something he had in the vineyard. Um. All right, so what should we do? <sighs> I really want to go check deeper into the island. I'm hoping to find a Spartan to kill. That's my main thing. All right, let's let's just talk to Marcos for a second. Alexios, welcome to the newest of the Marcos estates. I wasn't expecting company, but one must always be prepared. Wine? Marcos, I can't believe you're here. Believe it, <laughs> my friend. I'm not a man of one city, but of all cities. Who am I to deny the rest of the Greek world what I have to offer? Uh, right. You came a long way. I'm just gonna say you came a long way. I did this. I did this mission too recently. You. you you can imagine him saying the lines and asking about leaving Kefalonia and all that, because uh, because I already I already did this what shit as as um business. as Cassandra, you know. Um, I want credit for for having asked that in case the game records it, but um yeah I'm, we're skipping over it. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'll let this part play out though. I 
find what you are looking for? I'm still searching. Hopefully you'll have as much good luck as I've had. I found my long lost mama. Here, in Kos. Since Kos is her home, Kos is my home too. Say hello, mama. I see the resemblance. We come from a sturdy <laughs> stock, she and I. Funny. I remember you telling me your mother died a long time ago. Right, this is my adopted mama. We've become so close, she wouldn't have it any other way. Come on, Marcos. The truth. <laughs> well, mama is the owner of the vineyard. When her husband met his untimely death, it was going to be auctioned off. Something had to be done. So you stepped in to help. How generous. It's ridiculous a wonderful lady such as Mama cannot inherit her own property. Now we run the vineyard together. Isn't that right, Mama? Kind of scary. She'd put up a fuss if she disagreed. It's her land, but she shares it with her precious son, me. Uh, so glad this worked it's out a for nice you. Place you've come and deal, so, um. <laughs> If yeah, I, I mean, I did this recently as Cassandra, so you, you can you can look at the old video if you want to hear the full conversation. I'm not going to skip this part, but I, I'm going to skip over like the little side conversation parts. Why am I not surprised? But it's something I know you could help me with, my friend. I know your credentials. Uh, I'm listening. Go on. You know me. I borrow some drag me, and before I know it, they're calling me the Khan of Kos. All thanks to the Cerberus, whom I owe the most. The Cerberus? Well, first the Cyclops, now this. Don't tell me it's a three-headed dog. Don't be ridiculous. This is nothing like the Cyclops. This time I wish to make a peace offering, with nothing less than my finest wine. Finest? Palatable, maybe. Alexios, you're like family to me. And since I'm family to you, I'm sure you wouldn't mind helping. Oh, you're sure, are you? I promise I can afford to pay you this time. Just take my wine to the Cerberus. Simple. Um, okay. Fine. For old time's sake. I can always count on you. And the Cerberus can count on a nice wine pairing with dinner. Take it to his house. The Cerberus better not bite me. He's gonna bite. Ugh, I don't want to go back this way. Should I go back? I guess... I guess... It's fine. It's a short mission. Let's do it. Um... Yeah. Here we go. Uh... 